Hey everyone, this is Rasko, and welcome to part 4 of the LP of Legend of... Uh, yes, Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. I was thinking of something else. <laughs> yeah, so if you notice that we're suddenly back in Gokiri Village. Well, remember when I said after you get Zelda's Lullaby, practically every goddamn song in the game opens up? I'm not kidding. Every song in the goddamn game opens up. Um, I thought you can do uh, something with Zelda's Lullaby with the Skull Kid. I think he just said that's not sorry a song, but it's a nice tune. That's not quite sorry a song. Okay, no, not even. So we gotta find Saria. That means we gotta go all again through Lost Woods. So the easy way to do this is just to listen for a Saria song. It will get louder every time you God damn it, Gaduro! Oh, you fucking owl! Listen to this. Hoo -hoo. Yeah, I don't care. Do you want to hear what I said again? No. If you are courageous, you will make it through the forest. Just fine. Just follow your ears and listen to the sounds coming from the forest. Hoo -hoo. I'm going to take my slingshot one day and shove a Deku seed up your tail feathers. No, no, wrong side, wrong side, pass me. Yeah, there you go. Yes. Uh, and I fuck up. Do I fuck up? Yes, I fuck up. Right here, I fuck up. <laughs> I was like, God damn it, I should know my way around this forest, but I don't. Alright. Right. Left. Right. And this is running speed, I like to remind everyone. Left. Uh, center. Left. Right. Yeah, there you go. So we're back, we're, well, we're at the Secret Forest Meadow. Now, usually a uh, gay would appear and you would see a, um, Wolfles. Um, appear and you would have to fight the wolfles. But I came here beforehand after getting the ocarina. Gives my mis dumbass mistake. Yeah. So that was my dumbass mistake. So you don't get to see that fight with the wolfles, unfortunately. <laughs> Come on. Thank you. Spit your nut out. Oh, that sounded off. Okay, that sounded wrong. Oh, that was... Yeah, that was... Well, get the camera! Okay. So, if you guys remember, I said there is another way to get these guys out of there. Yeah, you'll get hit, but... It's the Deku Seeds and Deku Nuts themselves. Oh, god damn it! Come here! I want to kill you! Jump slashing upstairs, not the best plan. Why are these Deku scrubs protecting this place? I mean, did Saria order to protect it? Ganondorf? Even so, how did Saria get past all of them? I mean, she doesn't even have a weapon. She has a song. She has an ocarina. Wait. She has a fairy ocarina, just like us. What? Were you using two? Did you always have two? And you just were saving one for us? <clears throat> I've been waiting for you, Trent. This is the Sacred Forest Meadow. It's my secret place. I feel this place will be very important for the both of us someday. That's what I feel. Uh, you read my you read the walkthrough in advance, didn't you, Saria? Damn it! I told you not to cheat. Can you play the ocarina with me? Okay, try to follow along with the melody. I will. Hey, are you ready? This is Saria's song. Uh, this song isn't used that much, but if you do play in the middle of, say, the woods or somewhere where you're stuck, uh, Saria is another navi, but one that will tell you, hey, try going to this area instead and try doing this. You know, they might give you more of a hint than navi just going, great, great! Please don't forget this song. Do you promise? 
When you want to hear my voice, play Saria song. You can talk to me it, me anytime. Somehow. Yeah. That's not weird at all. <laughs> You've learned Saria song. You've learned a new melody. Oh look, the Triforce Pad. Jeez, this place is definitely going to be important someday. Yeah. This is one of the dungeons when I as grown up Link. Then again, we don't need to we don't need to go here first. Although I think I do go here. As okay, this is a question I will ask everyone even though we're not even that near grown up Link. Um has anyone ever done the dungeons out of order as in rather than doing the forest temple, the fire temp uh the fire temple, water temple, uh, Temple of Nocturnes, the Temple of... Oh, God damn it! Woohoo! Did you learn a new Ocarina song? From Saria? That melody seems to have some mysterious power. There are maybe some other mysterious songs like that you can learn in Hyrule. Yeah, 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 I don't care. You want to hear what I said again? No! Melodies you have learned will be recorded in the quest status subscreen. What the fuck is that? You should memorize the melodies. Anyways... I, you could just imagine someone saying, like, this being like a a joke on, yeah, um, fun little fact, the control notes for the N64 are permanently locked to, to the C buttons, are permanently locked to the, um, C, to the right thumbstick. I was actually hoping to put them into the D-pad, but no. Yeah, this is me. The song is gonna be like ha twice as slow because of the goddamn forsaken C stick. Uh, left thumb stick. Right thumb stick, sorry. You know, sorry song. Take this. Do -do 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 -do. Now, if you do manage to play Sorry Song before you actually learn it, he'll be still. He'll still somehow give you the. Goddamn, I'm going the wrong way. Ow. That hurts. So yeah, there is one other mini game you can do in here, besides the slingshot one. Actually, you could get this right as soon as you get the ocarina too, I believe. But I decided to come and wait just in case. And here we go. These are two stealth old shits with flutes. Although they have flutes, you have an ocarina, two fucking different wind instruments. Now, what they're going to do is that they're going to play three songs. The first song is pretty simple. It's, I think, a four-note melody, then it's a six-note, then a full bar note. Full bar ocarina song. Um, also, these song I could be showing these songs, and your songs will be completely different. It's a totally randomized thing, and it sucks. Oh, five songs. So what happens is that you play the song like they do. They're going to give you uh, presents. The first time you play it, they're going to be a single rupee. That's one rupee. You play some more, yes. You play again, you're going to get five rupees. So yeah, this is a little boring of a part. I'm sorry if there's not much going on. I, trust me, next time the next part will be more exciting, considering that in maybe like not even four parts. Actually, in exactly four parts, we're starting the Dungo's Cavern. Yeah, we're starting the next dungeon already. So yeah, in part 8, 9, we should be finished in Dongo's Cavern. Part 12, 13, I'm, guess, I'm estimating, we should have uh, Jabu Jabu completed. That's the, wa the first water dungeon, kind of water-ish dungeon. Yeah, I'm trying to talk over this as much as I can, ladies and gentlemen, because this is probably the most boring thing you're going to see in this part. There we go. Yay, five rupees. So, I'm going to cut to my successful run. Yeah, these guys could be... Now, the Ocarina songs they do, like I said, is completely randomized. The thing is that some of the Ocarina... Some of the notes they play are complete... You know, dickish. Yeah.
Yeah, I'm trying to play the notes as fast as I can with a C stick, with a right thumbstick, but it's not helping. Hell, I could probably play them faster on the C stick uh, from the GameCube. I should probably actually get that. Ugh. There we go. So yeah, this is pro. This is the longest ocarina song we have, though. Yeah, the easiest way to remember is this is to actually go with the notes down, right, up, left, a, down, down, right. You know, sing yourself the song every time they play it. For me, this was actually pretty easy since it's counterclockwise, a, down, a, right now, and last note is going to be down as well. So this was an actual easy note for me to remember. It's counterclockwise, starting with down, a, a down, a, down. So right here, I got really nervous because I was like, okay, this is getting annoying because, you know, they. Re this is a good way to make sure you know how to play the ocarina. Also, I believe holding down the Z button or whatever you're using as the Z button for you guys will actually change the pitch of the notes. Yeah. So, yeah, that's actually pretty cool. That was quite a nice session. As a token of our friendship, please take this. Woo! We got a heart container! Uh, heart piece, not container. I keep mixing those two ups for some reason. Although I know better. So, oh shit, no. I wanna just lose myself. There we go. <laughs> so yeah, we're done in Kokiri Forest for a very, very long time. So yeah, the quickest way method of travel. <sighs> You're about to see it. Now, I will be not be... I will tr like I said, this is the annoying thing, so get ready. This is the fastest way of travel across Hyrule Field. This is the side dash technique. You will travel faster than running or rolling. The only thing is that you're going to have to get used to Link's hack, 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 until you are grown up and get a pwn up. By the way, the first thing you will do, the first thing I am doing is grabbing a pwn up when I become an adult Link. When I become adult Link. Now, I'm heading towards this little middle of the, lo of the map. This is called, this area is, gonna, is called Long Long Ranch where Malin and her father Talon... Uh, well, her father, Talon, runs the ranch. Now, uh, these are, uh, Star Childs. They're undead. Yeah, undead enemies in Zelda. Yeah, the spin attack. I won't be using that too often. Ow, I just walked into him. Yeah, the jump slash pretty much takes care of... Of most weak enemies in a single strike the jump slash is two is twice as powerful as a normal strike it's programmed to do twice as much damage which makes sense you are jumping and putting more weight into an attack basic physics and again I don't think they were program I don't think they were thinking about that one that happened yes stall child sorry not star stall child it's a stall force but a kid version of a because they're just little minions. And one day it comes back, they hide back into the ground. So this is Long Long Ranch. Um, here, as a child, as Young Link, you won't have much to do. You learn Epona's song. But you also get two important... Uh, well, an important... No, you get a heart piece here, so... Oh yeah, Luigi. Uh, sorry, I thought he was wearing the blue and green. He's wearing his Fire Flower outfit. Which is the white overhauls with the under green shirt. Which is actually pretty damn cool, in my opinion. You know, they're reference. Um, Legend of Zelda has referenced Mario before, and I believe Mario has uh, referenced Legend of Zelda before as well. So this is a little mini game you can play. Uh, if it ain't the Forest Kid from, from the other day. By the way, thanks a lot for... Thanks a lot for waking me up. It's too... 
took some time of doing, but I finally got Malin back on my side. So, what are you today? Got some free time on your hands? Well, you, you say? Well, a little bit of a little game. These three cuckoos I have here, here are special cuckoos. These chicken, that chicken in the middle is in an awkward position. It is doing something awkward. And their tail feathers, if you notice, are not even moving. They're just images right there. I don't know if that's a glitch in my game or what, but I've just been noticing all these weird things since the, ever since the 60, since the um, HD version. You have 30 seconds, all right? Yet here we go. You're gonna start looking. So one always lines right behind you. So I saw this one land, which wasn't so bad. Come here. I really hate this. Because it is finicky as all fuck to grab these chickens sometimes. Oh! I locked out. I'm not kidding. I just rolled into that one pretty much. I was like, hmm, are you next to your brother? Uh, no. Oh. Uh, if you find a cuckoo that's not it, try chucking it somewhere where you won't pick it up again. And I locked out. Goldie, I'll be darned. I'm plum incredible. The last one. You found them all. Come over here. <sighs> I want my gift. Hi, how do you like to marry? <laughs> Just kidding. Just kidding. And think you're a little too young for that, aren't you? <laughs> oh, I'm proud to present with a sample of our very own long, long milk. You'll be energized the moment you drink it. After you drink it, you can bring back the bottle and buy a refill anytime you want. Or, you know, I can complete a major sub quest by convoluted methods and have my own very own cow in my in the cork here, your house uh, milk heals four hearts I believe now I thought he, could, he would give me a, a heart piece I was dead wrong do not play this mini game twice in a row yeah do not do what I did do not play this mini game twice in a row yeah, what I just did was the dumb thing. Yeah, when I say chuck them, I mean get them the hell away from you and other cocos. Uh-oh. 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 Oh, phew. Uh -oh. uh -oh. oh, now, I really thought this was going to get me a heart piece, but... Best is... Yeah, you're supposed to get a sample of, I believe, Longer Ranch is, uh... Super milk or delicious? Well, if you played a mini game, it's less expensive filling up your bottle. Well, it's ten rupees compared to thirty. Mind you, rupees aren't hard to come by in this game, considering you find them in chests. Enemies drop them, and you can cut grass for a living to get money. Yes, Link actually does lawn mowing, ladies and gentlemen, to pay his bills. Interesting. Yeah, we're pretty much staking in Long Long Ranch and other, this area pretty much for a while. Oh, not what I wanted to do. I wanted to roll into it. There we go. Uh, at night, there is a gold statula here. And... Oh, uh, move. There it is. That's one. There we go. Yay! <laughs> You see that post at the old far end, that little barrier like? Not on the inside, but on the outside, there is a gold stalcula. Gold stalcula. Gold stalcula right there. On the other side of that little ridge right there in the top left corner, about. So, yeah, on the outside, not the inside, if you come here at night. What's oh, a fairy boy again? I heard that you found my dad. How did. You like the castle? Did you see the princess? <laughs> Yeah, I saw her, all right. Dad came here after you found him. Oh, yeah, I have introduced you to my friend, fairy boy. She's this horse. Her name is Epona. Isn't she cute? No. Oh. Epona doesn't like me. Afraid of you, fairy boy. You have to talk to her again. Pass me. Speak. No. Speak. My mother composed this song. Isn't it nice? Let's sing together. Oh, cute ocarina. You're going to play this song with me? With that ocarina? <laughs> the second most well-known song through all Legend of Zelda players. Epona song. I swear to God, so many people remember this song. Next to Zelda's Lullaby. I mean, seriously. You've probably used this song more than Zelda's Lullaby in the entire game. 
Because you always want a opponent for fast traveling across Hyrule Field. Yeah, that's much later, but you'll get my point. Yay, we learned a Pona song. And what the hell is Ghidorah doing here? The goddamn freaking owl. Yeah, now Ipona likes us, so if you talk to Malin. Oh, Ipona, she's a girl in front of you, fairy boy. Uh huh. Lovely. Can I eat her? What? She's made of solid meat? What? In desperate times and situation, you would eat almost anything. Trust me. You would probably start eating insects if you need be. You heard me right, ladies and, fo ladies and gentlemen. Insects, as in bugs. Okay, so here we go. So there is a little puzzle to solve here, but it's very, very simple. In fact, you could solve it right now. Just hop over. Ah, uh, past me, what are you doing? No, I'm doing it wrong still. Well, this is one way to solve it. But another way is to just have... Um, this is the long way. You could just hop... Second you pull that one block, you can actually f squeeze pretty much through. Like, you have more than enough room to squeeze through here. So you just pull that first block I pulled, jump over, pull... Squeeze into this hole, push, and go in. Yeah, it's much easier that way. I just showed you the most, the longer way, but at least you have the room, room to maneuver. There you go, piece of heart. Yay, we have five hearts now. We can take an extra hit. So yeah, that was Long Long Ranch. We got Saria's song. We got uh, Epona's song. This is a very good day. These cows are eating hay. And I am e jumping into their food. Oh man, this place has got to stink like to high heavens. Because cows, any farm animal, if you've ever been to a farm, really everything smells. It's not because, it's mostly because of the manure. Yes, in other words, shit. Quite literal. Like, the animals themselves aren't too bad always. Yeah, you can see how much faster that side dashes. So yeah, this part's going to end. So join me next time as we head finally for Kakari Ville, Kakariko Village, not Kokuri Village. Kakariko Village and f find out what's in there. Don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe. Thank you, have a good day or night, and take care, ladies and gentlemen.